Okay, so imagine that we have a continuous random variable x that can take on any real value between a and b. The question is, given a continuous random variable, how do we find corresponding probabilities? And the answer is that probabilities about the random variable x will come from what's known as a probability density function. Some non-negative function above the interval from a to b. Therefore, the range of all possible values of x. So the question is, what conditions must this function satisfy in order to be able to provide us with probabilities about the random variable x. And the answer is that the function f of x must satisfy two conditions. So if you think about it, probabilities are real numbers between 0 and 1, so they are non-negative. So the first condition is that the function f of x must be non-negative on the interval from a to b, the range of all possible values of x. This is condition 1 f of x is non-negative, so at least as big as 0, for all values of x in the given interval. Now, this function will serve, as I have said previously, to give us probabilities about the random variable x. Well, as the interval from a to b contains all possible values of x by assumption, then x is guaranteed to be somewhere between a and b. And as we're about to discuss in a few seconds, the probabilities regarding x will be given as the area below the density function. So, as x is guaranteed to be between a and b, and we will associate the area underneath the density function to probabilities, well, if something is guaranteed to happen, it must have a probability of 1. Therefore, the area below the function f over the entire interval of possible x values a, b must be equal to 1. Now, of course, the area below a curve from a to b is given by the definite integral of the function, of course, with respect to x from a to b, and this must be equal to 1. And if both conditions are met, we say that f of x is a probability density function for the continuous random variable x on the interval from a to b. Let me write this here, a probability density function. of course, for the random variable x over the interval from a to b. So suppose now that we ask, what is the probability, and I'll write it this way, that x lies over a smaller interval than a b, all possible values. So suppose I take c to be my left-hand point and d to be my right-hand point. So we ask, what is the probability that x is somewhere between c and d? So I will write it, of course, this way, uppercase p for probability, and we want the event x is between c and d. And as we have said, if the function f satisfies these two conditions, it is a probability density function for our random variable and probabilities are given by the area underneath the density function. So the event here that we are interested by is x is somewhere between c and d, so this is the interval, and the probability that x is somewhere between c and d is given by the area underneath the density function 
over the corresponding interval. But of course the area below a curve between two points is nothing but a definite integral of the corresponding function. And this is how once you prove that a given function on a given interval is a probability density function for a given random variable, once you have proved that f of x satisfies these two conditions, then you can use the density function to allow you to find probabilities that x is between two real values, simply by the area below the density function, which of course is given by the definite integral of the probability density function over the given interval. And that's it.